Welcome to the Electromagnetic Works video tutorial series. In this tutorial we will use the S parameter module of HF Works to calculate the scattering parameters and electric and magnetic fields of this 4-pin connector. The model being simulated is a 4-pin connector. The pins are enclosed by a metal case and a Teflon substrate. Two air components are used to represent the wave ports. All the metal parts, the casing and the pins, will be suppressed in this example to take advantage of the skin depth effect at high frequencies. In the HFWorks Manager, we will launch a new study. Select the study type to be S parameters and enter the frequency settings. The simulation will run from 100 MHz to 2.5 GHz along 40 frequencies. With the study now defined, you can enter the preprocessing inputs before running the analysis. The first step is to assign materials to all of the bodies in the assembly. One port will be assigned air as a material. The other will have the same material properties through the drag and drop feature. The last part in the assembly, the substrate, will be assigned Teflon from the material library. The next step is the loads and restraints. This includes the wave ports. One wave port will be assigned to the front face of one air component and will have a pure transverse electric and magnetic mode, while the other wave port will have the same properties and will be assigned to the reverse face. Then, to simulate the presence of a metal surrounding the connector, all of the faces that would have come into contact with the metal casing will be given a perfect electric conductor boundary condition. The four pins on the inside of the connector will be assigned signals. Two of them from one side will be given one volt. This is done by selecting the faces from the inside. On the other side, the remaining pins will be given minus one volt. Any of these signals or restraints can be renamed. This is done in order to be able to differentiate between any of those boundary conditions. The last step before running the analysis is to create the finite element mesh. In HFWorks, meshing is easy and fast. You can set the global element size to make the mesh finer or coarser, or you can enter an automatic mesh using the Smart Mesh feature. Smart Mesh has two options. The first is wavelength meshing, in which you can enter the number of elements along the length of a single wave. This depends on all the material properties. The other feature is Smart PEC which would eliminate the need to mesh any of the metallic parts to take advantage of the skin depth effect. In this example, we will apply the mesh manually. We will apply a mesh control to set the element size of the air components as 200 microns. Then we will set the global element size to be 400 microns. This mesh size will be assigned to any bodies without a mesh control in this case, the substrate. With the mesh generated, you can review it either by viewing the mesh from the outside or with a 3D mesh plot. The 3D mesh plot will allow the user to view all of the elements from the inside. They are color-coded according to their size. 
In the chart options, which is available for all 3D plots, you can change the minimum and maximum values by defining them. There you can set the minimum color code as well as the maximum. You can also show annotations for the minimum and maximum values and exactly where they lie. The chart options have a lot of features available for viewing any 3D plot, such as changing the color code. Like all other 3D plots, you can view anything from the inside either with ISO clipping or by section clipping. In ISO clipping, you can view a plot from the inside by its magnitude, in this case by the size of the element. You can drag the value around or you can set it numerically. You can also add multiple sections or multiple surfaces. After reviewing any details of the mesh, you can make changes to the pre-processing inputs or you can run the analysis.